Jesus, I could not keep my eyes open for too long. <clears throat> Perfectly in sync now. Amanda the Adventurer. She haunts my dreams. She haunts my nightmares. We freed our grasp from her, but we 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 weren't done yet. We weren't done. No. I was I was I was tempted. I was laying in bed and I was thinking this isn't over, Amanda. We have not concluded our our rivalry. We haven't figured out your story yet. And that's what we're going to be doing today. What's oh, Hold on, hold on. I got <laughs> I gotta prepare myself for my intro. Hey, it was POPPIN! <laughs> Party people, I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube and welcome back to Amanda the Adventurer. This time we are going to be finding all of the tapes. We are going to be unraveling the story. We're going to be getting all the information we need in order to figure out what exactly is going on here. Just in case it comes up again, if there ever is a sequel. And because my comment section is as dead as a mummy from ancient Egypt, I have to go on the interwebs and look up all of the tape locations and the how to's myself. It's fine. You know, you guys don't want to leave comments. You guys don't want to interact with your boy. It's all good. We're still growing as a community. We're still getting to know each other. Let's hop right into this shit. Okay. So if you guys remember from last time, we already got one out of six of the secret tapes. So we're good. In order to get that one, if any of you are watching this video on how to do it, for some reason, thank you for choosing my video. <laughs> you, know you have to get this peach. It has to be done in the first videotape of, um, what is this? The, the kitchen episode, something about the kitchen. The first tape that you interact with, when they give you the instructions on how to make the pie, take the peach instead of the apple, Put that in the tin and then it's 425 for 40 minutes out pops that tape this one literally i don't know how you're supposed to have figured any of this out but for this one Friends, we have to go and i'm woolly hi guys all right so for this one we have to go to the chickens and then when she asks us what the the daddy the the, the daddy chicken or whatever it's called instead of typing in rooster or chicken or cock <laughs> you weird buddy you're weird we type in sam wait what did you say how do you where should we go next i think it's time to visit the sheep <laughs> can you so then we can pause here and out comes a tape one of the secret tapes so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then we'll watch that see what's going on there Tell me where i'm excited i'm hyped the sheep? all right so now i'm gonna pick this up oh, lab bot you're here <laughs> i missed you so much i'm so sorry i mean uh you don't uh he doesn't know anything what is this Three eight two thousand two. I wasn't born yet. This is five months before I was born. Oh, we don't get audio. Okay, he's showing her something in the book. This looks like an inter no. Either an interrogation room or a science experiment. I'm gonna guess that this is Amanda. Either that or one of the kids that may have had a sibling or somebody related to who went missing because of the Amanda situation. She's signing something. Children watching this video never sign anything without your parents' consent. If somebody tries to get you to agree to something, to consent to something, always have a legal guardian, adult, or parent present with you before get- And then she just walks out. What's going on? Always have a parent with you if you're signing something. Oh. Same day. I think it's like two minutes after. Oh, it's a different camera view. Punk ass security. I could take him. 
<laughs> Let me at him. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I, you could get a glimpse of what was behind that door, but I wasn't really paying attention. Okay. Wow. Huh. Okay, I want to go back. I want to rewatch the video to see if I can peep what's behind the door just for like a smidge. Here it is. He's going to unlock the door. She's going to walk in. I want to see if you can notice anything. It, yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't notice anything, but better safe than, wait, wait. Yeah, I, I don't really see anything. Okay. All right. That's fine. So the next tape, I think I have to go back. Yeah, I got to go back. Okay. Hang on. Give me one second. These tapes are all over the game, I swear. It's impossible to keep track of what's what. All right, so we go ahead and put the tape in. Hi there. And then we skip to where she asks us where we can get a card, right? 24-7 store. Good job. And then inside, <clears throat> inside, we have this up here. Now, before, if you remember in the first tape of um, In Your Neighborhood, it was the Blabot code. This right here is what we type into the little piano. We're going to pause here, and while I was watching the video on how to do it, uh, I went ahead and put it in my notes so that I wouldn't forget it, but it simply spells out the word facade, F-A-C-A-D-E, because Amanda is putting on a facade thinking that we wouldn't notice, thinking that this is all just a game. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. I'm going to finish this video, and then we'll watch this red tape. Look at that, already halfway done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in there. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what we got. It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live-action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. The fuck? News is so- your friend, Skip. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. Skip and Chip. The news is so weird. They'll talk about something, like, so, so sad and heartbreaking. Like, this evening, 12 dogs were caught in a fire, and only one of them, the runt of the litter, survived. There is no news about what the family is going to do about this pack of dogs. Um... But it is in all of our best interest that we keep all hope for this front, for it has 70 degree burns. When we come back, we're going to talk about how you can start losing weight. Thomas, now with the sports. Okay, so 
the girl that we saw in this blue tape was Hamlin's daughter, and she was signing her rights to be used, uh, like her, um, what is it called? Her likeness to be used in the show. And th- was, hmm. So did her father disappear before the show was pitched live action or after? Because it was saying that it was originally meant to be a live action TV show, but then Hamlin picked it up and made it an animated. They re envisioned it as an animated show. I, I feel like I have to watch these a billion times to understand what's actually going on. It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing. So he was already and a producer. still have no leads. It's been three weeks. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer. The creator. The public access children's educational program. So public access children's program. So which means that it was already on the air. But was it live? Ha <sighs> ha. <sighs> Because he Sam went missing, and then Hamlin purchased the rights to the show. Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series. What do you mean reimagined? Wasn't it already an animated series? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. How do you how do you purchase the rights to a live action TV show, and then reimagine? But what was it already live action? I'm thinking, I think I'm thinking too deep into this. So all I really need to know, all we really need to know is that Sam went missing. Rebecca's daughter uh, was going to be Amanda in the live action TV show. But because Hamlin bought the rights to the show, Sam went missing. People are suspicious of what's going on. And so I don't think I'm smart enough for this. Okay, so we got three out of six tapes. I'm still not quite understanding what's going on here. Some shady business, obviously. Uh, Amanda's father was a, probably a good man, but it also makes sense. I think Sam went missing because of Amanda because when we type Sam's name in, uh, Amanda goes, wait, how do you? And then it cuts. Like she, she looked very suspicious. She looked upset, almost as if we weren't supposed to know about Sam because she was behind it this is probably all explicitly explained and i'm just being very slow to catch on but we'll get there so i had to go back because the next one that i found was that you have to give the flower pot with the 21 or 24 or if you flip it a certain way it looks like a japanese kanji uh to this doll over here you got to grow it and give it to the doll all right here you go little lady thank you that's my favorite flower. I got a surprise for you, but you'll have to turn around. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, this is tape number four. Let's get it. Please don't jump scare me. Welcome to Coffee Break. Today, I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit case Sam! show, Amanda the Adventurer. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I'm going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. <laughs> Sam, last year, you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio the whole town loves it did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation honestly sadie no <laughs> it was a total surprise i mean it's scrappy at best you know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget i don't know if i know what you're talking about <laughs> kids don't really care about that though they see the heart and boy does your show have a big heart you know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. Kate, I think she's talked. That's about our uh, aunt. Story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, 
It's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. Stop it. She's the light of my life. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. Okay, so it was live action before it, the show, exciting. when the show first started. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Okay. All right. Okay. More information has just been spilled on to me. Amanda or Rebecca um, was the inspiration for the show. It was live action before Hamill, Ham, Hamlin, Hamlin, Hamlin. Uh, decided to turn it into a cartoon that was explicitly explained to me before I just didn't catch on I didn't know what they were trying to say Rebecca is adopted now here's my new theory is that Rebecca is responsible for Sam's disappearance I don't know it's just something about adopted children I'm sorry if you're adopted <laughs> this is nothing against you but there's a movie called Orphan about a family who has problems you know giving birth to uh, a child of their own. So they adopt a woman who turns out to have this bodily, uh, it's a body disorder that makes her look younger than she is. She's a 30 year old Russian woman who looks like a 12 year old child. And she ends up like offing the entire family. Something about adopting children just rubs me the wrong way. I feel like Amanda and Rebecca are one and the same. Because, ooh, ooh, maybe when Hamlin made the show into a cartoon, it wasn't that they were... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I haven't watched anything about this, by the way. I've kept away from all the secret tapes. I've kept away from all the theories as far as what goes on deeper in, like, the deeper levels of the story. So this is all my personal speculations. So maybe when she was signing the paper in the first tape that we watched she wasn't signing her rights to the show she was already a part of the show because her dad or her dad made the live action show she was already the star hamelin was having her sign her likeness to be turned into a cartoon character like physically being turned into a cartoon character so that they could put her in the show amanda is rebecca in cartoon form we gotta wait and see my camera might die <laughs> my camera's about to die all right so the next one is in the oh no accidents tape um and we're supposed to fall accidents can happen in your house at school at the playground you can get hurt almost everywhere at 3 45 this afternoon we were playing okay so the the answer is to type in knee. That's but then when she asks really who can help? Me. Who can help when you are hurting? We type in nobody. You're probably right. The sad truth. Oh Let's no. To the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go? Okay. Uh and then the purple tape is behind us now. So that's 5 out of 6. One more to go. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, okay, okay, all right. We're getting a story going here, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting a story going. Rebecca 
Professor, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Bye, yeah. Bye, man. Bye, man. Bye, man. Bye, man. Bye, man. Bye. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of these. No, I the... don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. There's no man. She's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out, and we'll... <laughs> that cameraman is fucked. Whoever was behind the camera got screwed. You're dead. Okay. So, Sam was still a part of the collaboration with Hamill when the show was being turned into a cartoon. I feel like because he had creative direction, he didn't like the way that certain things were going. He was like, you know not not okay with certain things and they were like all right we gotta bump him off we gotta get rid of chief over here he thinks he runs the show let's show him who really runs the show i also don't think these are all in chronological order either i mean well that's obvious because this first tape that we got showed a child watching the amanda tv show and then just disappearing amanda said mm, i love mint chocolate chip which means that by this point amanda has already become a possessed cartoon character so this has to come like last in the timeline, depending on what this last tape is. Okay, I'm gonna watch this one more time because y'all know me, I, I process a little slower. What does this say? Recording, recording, please. Oh, quiet, please. Recording quiet, please. Okay, all right. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. So this, this right here, when she's like repeatedly saying bye, yell, pie, man, bye, yell, pie, that stuff, I feel like is part of subliminal messaging. Maybe Hamil Hamlin knows what they're doing. Hamlin knows what their creative, uh, their creative direction for this show is. And it's to, to brainwash as many children as possible through subliminal messages. You may have heard of such a thing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like I'm some kind of theorist. Um, it's definitely got to be subliminal messaging, though. All right. I still feel like I'm so much further from what's going on. This is crazy, though. This, this is insane. Okay. So one thing I didn't necessarily notice the first time I read this was this newspaper article. I read it in a previous video and then didn't necessarily know what I was reading. But it basically talks about, you know, a lot of the things that we already knew. Rebecca is Sam's adopted daughter. He didn't expect the show to blow up. One part where he says the budget, uh, we may not have the budget for a big production, but I truly believe there is a soul that transcends. I feel like that's kind of, he didn't expect Amanda to become a possessed cartoon character. Um, but this is definitely some accidental foreshadowing into his future. This was also published in 2000, two years before um, Rebecca signed with Hamelin, which is when I assume um, she basically signed over her soul to become a cartoon character. I also did find out that there is not a sixth, there is a sixth tape, but you can't get it through normal means. You have to go into some kind of code and get the tape for yourself. So the five is all we've got. I'm gonna go find the YouTube video so that we can watch that together. But this is this is what we got right now. Hamlin is definitely behind it. That's all I need to know. Hamlin is behind everything that's going on. Rebecca went missing, or not Rebecca, Sam went missing. Rebecca is the possessed Amanda, I believe. They definitely had her sign her soul <laughs> to become an animated cartoon character which is why she was familiar with the name Sam, why her best friend's name is Kate. Um, where Wooly comes in, I have no idea, but I feel like she was turned against her father at some point because 
in the other news report, it talks about how uh, the parents were listening in on the show and it was talking about how parents aren't always right. So maybe when parents start to like talk shit about the show or something about it has something to do with parents and the TV show and how Amanda just has no affection for parents anymore. Maybe because something happened to her original parents which is why she was put up for adoption. I don't know. I I don't even know where to start with any of my theories or where to go with any of them. Hamlin's behind it all. Amanda and Rebecca are the same person. Children go missing. Um, parents might be the center of all that. Uh, I'm going to go find that video for you guys, though, so I'll be right back. So this video comes from this channel. I'm going to put it here because I have no idea how to pronounce it, let alone how to even spell it. it it's a mesh of a bunch of different letters. But this is the channel that this video comes from. Uh, shout out to you for having the video, for having the courage to even go into the game's code, because I'd be too scared to break some shit. Um, I don't know why this is 11 minutes, but we may not even watch the whole thing. Herd of Mouth with Wooly the Sheep. Uh, bless you. Wooly, how inappropriate of you to scratch your ass in, in front of a camera. In front of all these beautiful people. I'm so sorry about him. Is this supposed to be a talk show or something? What is he doing? Why is he just sitting here? Give me the goods. Give me the juice. There's no way that they're going to make you go into the game's files or the game's code or however you're supposed to get this tape for this to be it. And if it is... I'm glad that I didn't waste my time trying to figure out how to do it. It would be nice to have all six tapes, though. <sighs> me too, buddy. Me, oh, me too. Oh, oh, I actually needed that. Oh my goodness. Wow. I've been sitting in this chair for an hour and a half, just because of how many times I had to go back to the beginning of the game to redo stuff at certain point. You guys don't care about any of that. Is this it? Is this, is this actually it? Oh my goodness, we're only three minutes into this video. This is it. So, you mean to tell me that Wooly had absolutely nothing to say the whole time? He had nothing to say. And the moment that he did, he lost his thought. He, he didn't have anything to say after that. The whole 11 minutes of nothing. That was a wait. Okay. All right. Um, that was all the secret tapes in Amanda the Adventurer. I guess five uh, tapes, one YouTube video, because you'd have to be like an insanely technological genius or somebody who has free time, which I do not, uh, to be able to go into the game's files to get that last tape of absolutely nothing. I would have been pissed if I went through all that trouble to find that tape and nothing come out of it. Thank you guys for joining me. If this video helps you, cool. I made, I made my first how-to video, I guess. I don't know. There's just so many theories that I have that I, I feel like aren't on the nose at all. Like I'm very far from the truth. But, you know, if there is an Amanda the Adventurer 2 or something else that comes out, 
uh, as far as the game. I will, I'll play whatever comes out next. I'll react to whatever, I don't know. Um, let's get this video to five likes. We'll keep the five like minimum for now. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out.